Aloha, my name is Casey Rita, and I'm a hydrologic technician with the USGS in Honolulu, Hawaii. In this video, I will be walking you through the different options and features in the discharge measurement portion of SWAMI. When you click the task button, it will take you to the site visit tasks menu. In this list, you will find the discharge measurement button. At the top of the screen, you will see two options, import channel and new channel you want to select new channel. This is where you will enter your channel information. It is important to note that you will not be able to continue to the next screen until all fields with an asterisk are populated. First, you have to name your channel. In the QM method drop-down menu, you will see your options describing the methods available for measurement of the channel discharge. When you select a discharge method, SWAMI will adjust the channel information page to accommodate your selection. You'll notice that when you select ADCP as a QM method, you will be asked if you want to stage an acoustic channel for import or summarization later. This topic, as well as the various Q methods, will be discussed in a separate screencast video. Once your QM method is selected, you then select your deployment method from the drop-down list. Next, you select your velocity method from the drop-down list. Selecting a midsection method with an ADV will also give you the option to stage the measurement and is again covered in a separate screencast video. For this example, we will select Pygmy. The meter field will contain a list of meter numbers that are in your meters file, which are pulled from site visit. Select the proper meter to document that it was used with this measurement. Next, select the suspension of your meter. Same as the channel information page adjusts for the QM method, you will notice the suspension drop-down menu will also change based on the different deployment methods. For example, if we were to select Cableway, the suspension options change, and if it applies, you will be able to enter your weight distance and your weight size. However, for our Pygmy example, we will select top setting weighting rod. You can enter your spin test by clicking the button. This will take you to a new screen where you can add spin test. Once at the spin test menu, simply fill out the information. If you're satisfied with the data, click done you will see your spin test has been added. Click Done. Be sure to check the meter inspected box and if summary only applies to the measurement, check this box as well. Click Measure. Note that after pressing Measure, the measurement summary screen varies depending on the discharge and deployment methods selected. These are covered in detail in separate screencasts that are specific to the discharge and deployment method combinations. In the channel summary screen, you will enter the characteristics of this measurement and the environment in which it was made. From the drop-down menu, select your location. You will notice if you choose at the gauge, the section distance will be grayed out. Any other option will give you the choice to fill in this field. In the horizontal flow menu, describe if the section was even, or if parts of the stream were faster than others, select uneven. Channel conditions and velocity description will take you to a separate screen. In the channel description, you will select your material, the stability, and the evenness. In the velocity description, select your vertical distribution and your velocity distribution. Click Done. You will see it's been populated. 
Now indicate what side of the stream you started on. After your measurement is complete, you can add another spin test, or if the meter was just checked to be free, check meter inspected. Click Done. This next screen is to assist with rating verification based on the measurement that was just completed. Keep in mind, this function will only work if you have your current rating and shifts synced to your SWAMI. You can enter your gauge height and the rest of the fields will populate for you based on current rating information. Here you can see the unshifted Q and the percent difference, as well as the shifted Q and the percent difference. If there was a current shift in place, these values would be different than the unshifted Q. You can also use the plot rating feature to put this measurement on your current rating. All these tools will indicate if you verified your rating, if you verified your current shift, or if you need to make a check measurement. After you evaluate the rating comparison to the current measurement, click Done. Here it asks if you want to end the discharge measurement. Click Yes. The measurement summary screen is used to individualize this measurement from others and give certain pertinent information. If you don't know what the current measurement number is, you can check the auto sequence feature and site visit will apply the next available number in sequence upon import. The discharge field will automatically be populated for you from previous menus. From the drop down menu, select the quality rating of this discharge measurement. The next drop down menu will help explain the type of flow being measured. For example, is this base flow, non-base flow, or unknown? It is important to understand what base flow means. Base flow is defined as sustained flow of a stream in the absence of direct runoff. It includes natural and human-induced stream flows. Natural base flow is sustained largely by groundwater discharges. Next, document the stage that associates with this measurement and if the stage changed at all. You will then enter your start time and your end time. Once your times have been entered, enter the measurement duration in hours. If there's any information that wasn't captured by the drop-down menus, you can always use the Remarks field. However, when all the information is input, click Done. Now that the measurement has been well documented, on this screen you have a few options at the bottom of the screen that you can apply to this measurement. By clicking the measurement, these options become clickable. You can describe if it's a check measurement or if it's unused. If the measurement is going to be unused, it will prompt you to describe why. When you click Done, it will take you back to the Site Visit Test menu. You can now check the box next to Discharge Measurements to show that this status is complete. If you have any questions on the Discharge Measurements section of SWAMI, please contact the SWAMI Help Group at the email address shown or visit the FCIS webpage at the address shown.